This is going to be a video titled, Who Would Have Won the Tuning Exams If It Wasn't Interrupted? So, you're going to have um, Naruto, Neji, Sasuke, Shino, Kankuro, Tamari, Gara. And I think that's about it, right? So these are the people who, okay, so I'm going to just break it down. So we already seen Naruto versus Neji. Naruto defeated Neji, you know what I'm saying, with the nine tails. See, and at first I was like, how the fuck did Naruto beat Neji? <laughs> but um, I'm like, he, he, he used the nine tails cloak. You know, he um he used the nine tails cloak. So obviously Karama is a powerful tailed beast. Even though that shit kinda was cheating. You know, using the nine tails cloak, obviously Karama has way more power than Neji, so him using that, okay, I okay, I can see him beating Neji, but that was cheating like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But def but I don't know how the fuck that one shot knocked him the fuck. I mean, well, oh, oh, well, like I said, Karama's a powerful beast, so I guess he could do that. So he knocked knocked Neji the fuck out. Well, he knocked him down. Um, but but like but when he punched him, he he didn't really have that orange aura around him. Like he did. So was that was the chakra gone? Because if the chakra was gone and he just punched him regularly with. Without the chakra, then how the fuck did he win that shit? Neji sh should have been able to take that shit. Neji was is way stronger. I I understand getting punched off guard feels a lot different from being punched when you're on guard, but that was some bullshit. I mean, so if the nine tail cloak was on and he punched him, makes sense. If it was off, Neji getting losing didn't make any sense. <sighs> the, you know, so if it was on, makes sense. If if the cloak was off, doesn't make sense. So Naruto beat the Neji, cool. Next would have been um, Sasuke versus Gara. Um, see, Sasuke would have won that fight because if you are looking at it from a tournament perspective, from a tournament perspective, and not just you know, uh, things would have panned out exactly how it panned out. Sasuke stabbed Gara with the Shidori. Gara started to freak out and he passed the fuck out. <laughs> And if, if 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 and if this is tournament rules, the person who's knocked out loses. So with Gar getting knocked the fuck out, Sasuke would have won. You would say, oh well, Gar would have won the fight. No, he wouldn't, because this is based on a tournament rule, a tournament rule, right? So Gar would have got knocked the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand that they Sasuke and them pursued them into the forest and shit like that, because Conqueror and Tamari allow Gara to recover and thus forth he, he he was allowed to gain his energy and then fight Sasuke again. But if you basing it off a tournament rule, he would have he would have lost the fight. You know? And we don't know how long Gar was knocked out because you gotta remember that anime time is different from real time. So even if they wasn't to fight even if they was not to have fought you know yeah, so so even if um even if they was to fight not in a tournament, if Gar was knocked out for hours or some shit like that, or well not probably wasn't hours, for at least thirty minutes or so, Sasuke would have said, Oh, okay, Gar's knocked the fuck out, I'm out of here. So so even if they was to fall outside of the damn tournament, Sasuke would have still beaten Gar. Only only way Gar Gar would have won is if he was somehow to release the fucking Shukaku shit, and then then he can beat Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think Gar can just bring bring that out like that, or can he? I don't know. But but just basing off what happened in the tournament, Sasuke would have beaten Gar with the Shidori, would have got knocked the fuck out, and then the Proctor would have said, "Oh, Sasuke won." <laughs> right? And then next fight would have been Kankuro versus Shino. Shino and Kankuro are pretty evenly matched in part one. So, it, that fight could go either way. It could either go to Shino barely winning, Kankuro barely winning, or it does be a, a straight-up draw, like how it was with Sa uh, Sakura and, in and, and Ino. Would have been a straight-up draw, 
right? Um, uh, but let's say if one one let's say if one or the other wins, Tamari would have fought Shino or Conqueror. Conqueror would have probably would have given up because that's his sister, and I don't think he would want to fight her his sister full strength. So he would have given up probably. And then if it was Shino, Tamari is in full strength. Shino's fucked up from fighting Conqueror because he's probably poisoned or some shit. And then Tamari would have fucked him up. That would have been the end of that. Uh, the next fight would have been um, uh, after that. Who else is there? Um, it would have been Naruto versus Sasuke. Oh, oh, I forgot Shikamaru was in there too, right? Was he? Was he in the finals? No, 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 no. He already fought Tamari's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He already fought Tamari and he lost that. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Sasuke and Naruto. Sasuke would have won that fight because yes. You can te technically say that Naruto was stronger than Sasuke, and you and even Gar was stronger than Sasuke, but you have to remember that, you know, that, you know, see certain characters get stronger in certain situations, like when Naruto is is, is heavily angered, more of that Nine Tails chakra comes out, the more he's heavily heavily angered. So in this fight, he 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 would not have been heavily angered to bring out the nine tails chakra to a to a high ass degree, right? You know, and then on top of that, I mean, his fucking chakra network got shut off by Neji. <laughs> his fucking chakra network. So his only resort was to be to use the nine tails. Which which he's he's not really that good at doing yet, so Sasuke has the edge all the way around the fucking board. So Sasuke would have been easily smacking his ass around, you know, using the Rock Lee Taijutsu move, smacking his ass. It wouldn't even wouldn't have, it wouldn't have even really been a fight like that. He would have got his ass smacked the fuck around, smacking his ass around, right. So Sasuke, to be honest, wouldn't wouldn't have even needed to do Shidori, and if he did do, do Shidori, he would have aimed probably, you know, you know, at a, at a non lethal spot. But he probably wouldn't have even needed to use the shit, and Sasuke would have easily been the victor of the tournament. You know, because like I said, man, like circuit, like when Naruto beat Gara, first and foremost, first and foremost, um. He, his friend's life was at stake and the fact that he did not want his friends to die allowed him to bring out the nine tails chakra again but that's because it was dire circumstances and that was that uh that was the adrenaline rushing he you know that was the adrenaline rushing through his veins and it was it was do or die and that's what brought that out the same thing when he summoned gamma bunta because remember he couldn't do that shit he can only su summon a damn tad. Well, well, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, he, no, he, he uh, did. No, he did learn how to summon Gamma Bunta. But and then you guys got, you got also think Gamma Bunta helped him too, because Gamma Bunta, Gamma Bunta, was, you know, was fighting Shikaku, which gave him an opening to wake up Gara and that shit. So that also played a part too. So Gar Naruto had help in that fight. It wasn't like he just beat Gara's ass just by himself. Cause if he if he would have fought Gara by himself, he would have fucking lost. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? you know, if it was just by himself, he would have lost that fight. Um, but um, so yeah, uh, you gotta you gotta understand that the circumstances were different versus just fighting in the tournament. You know, obviously, if you want to look at it from from the perspective of if the characters went all out and unleashed their true full power if they were able to obviously gar would have fucking won the fight but since the since but since bringing out their abilities are circumstantial you know it's it's circumstantial right then sasuke would have been the victor and that's how it would have most likely would have panned out but let me know what you guys think so i gotta say i'm out